Here we go, you guys. We got a massive box and store of brand new figures, Ultimate Editions, exclusives that we have not seen yet. We got a promo Ultimate Edition. Oh, hold on. Don't tell me. Is that the Big Red Machine? He's gone shirtless. He's gone ultimate. He's got the miss. He's got the bro. Come on, Riddle. Let's take it in, buddy. Yeah. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We got a whole bunch of brand new figures today in store, you guys. We have exclusive elites, ultimate editions, a whole bunch of customs. Huge shout out to, to my good brother, father and son collectibles, as well as PWR. You got something? Well, not in this box. I'm going to go ahead and show you towards the end because there are figures in here that are actually going to make sense as to why. PWR is quite potentially one of the best figgy clothing makers of all time. So I'm very excited to get some of these customs completed. And you guys know anytime we've gotten any of the figgy clothing, it's always been a banger. Here it is, you guys. Here is the figgy load of, what is it? I don't even know. Where are we? I think we're in August, aren't we? No, I think we're going into September. September next month, August right now. But this will be the hot box without a shadow of a doubt. Especially given the fact that the Tribal Chief, look at this, you guys. We got promo Big Dog finally rolled up in here in the UC Love. Now, I know you guys are wondering, Hero Fix, what's so damn special about this? Well, if you guys know anything about butterfly joints, you guys know that the one has been honored appropriately right here in the promo look. And you cannot have the one without the top man in the game. Now, <laughs> this is actually pretty awesome, you guys. Drop a like if you guys think that the one has been brought in the right way. Especially when you talk about Paul Heyman. Look at this. I mean, this is insanity. I mean, yes, of course, this is not the actual outfit that the man did wear. I do believe that the head right here, yep, it's right here. Looks like the head scan for the alternative. Brother Love has made the love right here in the outfit. And yeah, we'll definitely play it out. We got to do a little swappy, but check this out. I think this actually flows pretty good. Got him with both titles right here. You got the little entrance piece. You know what? That's A-OK -okay with me. I knew Brother Love was going to do something special, but I had no idea that the whole damn show Rob Van Dam, Check it out, buddies. And I know this one is going to be a really difficult one to get your hands on. This is exclusive right here to Walmart. And I believe this is actually the very first time as well that we are getting the singlet look with the double or the butterfly joints as well as ultimate edition upgrades man this figure looks incredible you guys can see that the back end right here the whole what do you guys call the yin and the yang to it all is coming in together really nice and then if you do articulate it forward it actually still does continue right there past the line you got all this red design now as you guys know there was a cancel figure earlier this year mainly due to just the whole you guys know i mean i don't got to get into detail we've already discussed that but given the fact that he still rolled up in here in the ultimate edition i was very thankful man because you never know these legend contract deals you just don't know now as you guys know this does have the drop down hips as well so you can actually pull those down all the way and it's got right there the ball hip joint so if you want to do a full on look at that that is how rbd does it in the backstage and the fact that we can now properly do it oh yeah without a shadow of a doubt one of a damn kind bro this is a great looking figure very excited to finally get my hands on this i do believe he did come with alternative scans but as you guys know man sometimes the trade skis we gotta make some improvises and we gotta make bro we got Matt Riddle also in Ultimate Edition. And I cannot tell you, bro. Now that we got that Randy Orton about a couple weeks back, this right here is going to look so good side by side. I mean, just envision him, right? He pulls up. He's like, yo, Randy, we got to do cheers, bro. We got Ultimate Edition conversion right here mixed in. And I got to tell you that the red gear, this is based off the recent. I know the top picks was a re-release of the very first version of this, but it still looks pretty damn good, bro. Very solid. Very excited to have this man right here in UE. And as you guys know, it could not have a custom Ultimate Edition haul without The Miz. Look at this, you guys. Also, oh, Hero Figs, you brought me an Ultimate Edition, huh? Well, guess what? We're going to check ourselves in right here because the SmackDown Hotel has brought the fresh white. I feel like this is like a very white-geared inspired unboxing. Check this out. We got Paul Hammond. He's like, yo, bro, so now that you're in Ultimate Edition, 
are you looking for a manager or are you good? He's like, dude, if I'm going to get a manager, I'm going to get WHF front row pulling up here and then claiming this man right here as one of the best UE conversions. And yes, this is based off the Macho Man. I have seen people use like a Ric Flair, but I do think Macho Man, I mean, especially when you're talking about like WrestleMania season, this looks appropriate, man. So pretty cool to have the lad right here in UE. Now, we also got one more. <laughs> We got the Texas Rattlesnake, because this one, another figure, check this out. So, as you guys know, that four-pack, yeah, it's it's no longer a thing. Well, at least not right now. It's going to be re-released down the road. I believe it's going to be the following month or November. I'm going to have to go check it out, but he is still scheduled. But, yes, Vince McMahon came in here, and he's like, no, we got to stop that figure. There's no way in hell that the Texas Rattlesnake is going to pull up with brand new tooling. And it is, you guys. This is the Bane Benefit from this four pack, I truly thought that this figure right here was one that was going to be worth like, I mean, if anybody's holding off on the rest, I feel like this is the one that's going to make the trigger happen, right? So as you guys know, the older ones, they were a little bit more cartoony. They were a little bit wider based on the thighs, but I think that this dude, I'm going <laughs> to have to convert this in ultimate edition right now. It is just based off the regular elite and it does have a new head scan. It is based off the later Austin, which I don't know, man, I definitely see what people are saying. As far as like the likeness and just the way that it's coming through, I'm not quite seeing it, man. I mean, I know it's supposed to be based off old Austin, but still, nonetheless, very excited to have this. I was going to base it off an Attitude Era Austin anyways, so once it gets the swappy swappy, it won't even matter because the big red machine, oh yeah. Now here it is, you guys. Mattel, take a little cue, man. Drop a like for the next Ultimate Edition. Do you guys think that the big red machine should have a bigger torso. And I don't care if you don't end up using this one. I just think that this is like the one gear. And anybody will attest to this. Anybody that played video games from like 2004 all the way up to 2008, maybe 2009. I know he tapped him pretty far. This was the gear, bro. We saw this on Here Comes the... No, 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 it wasn't Here Comes the Pain. It was SmackDown versus Raw. But yes, the fact that we got it represented with the Brock Lesnar tooling. Oh, yeah. Check this out. You can set all that hell, fire, and brimstone because the Big Red Machine has brought the damn fire, bro. This thing is insane. I really do like the Brock Lesnar torso. I do think it suits him well. And as far as scale, yeah, this thing is freaking massive. Now, let's get another one out because on this day... Uh, see, clearly we got Edge over here, also in Ultimate Edition. Now, for the jacket piece, I do believe this is based off Raquel Gonzalez, but you know what? I think it still works out pretty good. I mean, chick's pretty big. She's almost like the current modern-day China, so I feel like this jacket piece is working really nice, man. And also, given the fact that the Target exclusive Legends Edge had that bright shimmer to it, I think this works perfect, bro. It's like a retooling based off Here Comes the Pain. And then, of course... You can't have the belt if you don't do it up with the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. No, take that back. I believe this is also based off Edge Tour. So I'm going to have to double check. I sent him a whole bunch of parts. He got it all swapped out. He made it happen. And he also made this dream happen. Now, as you guys know, there's been canceled figures left and right lately. And that upcoming, what is it, the WCW crowdfund, not happening, right? So as you guys know, we are not getting an Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio, but... That doesn't mean we still can add it to the WHF Figgy Collection. Look at this. We got Ray Ray from the most recent Amazon. No, not Amazon. Sorry. Take that back. Walmart exclusive figure converted right here with the Elite Series 100, as well as some a couple of additional add-ons. Got a knee brace going on right here. I got to get the smaller one. I feel like that one's going to suit him a lot better. Gizmo 305, you know what I'm talking about, buddy. The jacket right here, this actually came off the Rey Mysterio Legends figure. And again, mixing it in with all the removal of the tattoos. Ray Ray, dial it up because the 619 area code is calling for this figure, dude. This thing looks incredible. Now check this out. This is where PWR Lucha steps in, right? The man brought something very, very special. No, not the figure here that you see here before you, but we got you suck. We got his Kurt Angle gear based off 
here comes the damn pan. And I'm pretty excited to get this slap together, you guys, because this is going to be awesome. Very excited. Right now, it's more based off like a promo Kurt Angle. So if you guys were wondering, like, what's he got rocking underneath? Well, it is based off Elite Series. What was it? It was in the 50s or the 60s. The one that's actually based off this exact same gear in the Elite, as well as the knee pads. So once I get it swapped out, this is all going to make that much more sense. The pants right here, pretty sure these were based off i mean you can really get them from any figure i know rock came with it i also know that uh pat patterson and gerald briscoe came with it but again you slap it on and you got yourself an ultimate edition kurt freaking angle we gotta pull back the wrapping because more hellfire and brimstone has laid here before us you guys check this out we got Kane in Ultimate Edition, and I know you're saying, here, Fix, what the hell are you talking about? This is the WrestleMania, no, hold on, Walmart exclusive, or was it Decade of Domination? I can't tell you how many. <laughs> they released this gear four, maybe even five different times in the Elite, but it was never released in Ultimate Edition. So, you know what? WHF Dream Team, this is where they come, bro. And I do think that the overall execution looks solid. And you really could play it either way. I mean, you can either A, have them displayed right here with the mask, or B, have them unmasked, dude. The possibilities are endless, and I feel like that this piece right here was something that needed to be part of the WHF collection. Plus, after all, I did say here comes the pain, right? Now, let's keep rolling with this, because Mankind also... In Ultimate Edition. And I know you may be asking, like, Hero Fix, what the hell are you talking about? Well, let me show you, buddy boy. We got right here, was it Kevin Owens? Yes. Kevin Owens, as well as Mania Fix, making the possibilities happen. Because here's the thing, you guys. This torso, this, like, when it comes to Ultimate Edition, it has not been released. But... I can assure you right here, butterfly joint conversion, and it is mixed in pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the shirt all the way up. But pretty much what you got going on right here, it is Kevin Owens with Jake the Snake Roberts. And the reason why it works perfectly is because it is based off the new style of torsos where it does wrap a full 360 degrees. So I think that plays out really nice, you guys. So check this out. This gear right here, this one was based off that recent uh, ringside exclusive. I know we're going to have the three faces of Foley, but I can almost guarantee you guys... We're going to have the three faces of Foley converted in Ultimate Edition. Long prior Mattel rolls up. So pretty excited to have that man also in Ultimate Edition. Now, you know I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Come on. Break the walls down. We got a WCW. Chris Jericho. And I know you're wondering, like, bro, I don't ever recall Jericho having a tattoo. Well, keep in mind, this one right here. This is basically the beginning fodder parts of it. So I sent him the yellow tights to mix it in right here with a Jeff Hardy. And I do still have to acetone the shoulder piece off it. I mean, all like the actual tattoo has been removed on this side. So no concerns on that. This shirt right here, this, I believe this one was, uh, actually, I don't, I don't believe ever Mattel ever releasing this. So a nice little addition to that bonus, man. This is pretty cool. I really like the early stages of the WCW Rick Flair, Hero Fix, what are you talking about? This was based off his tag team title run. Well, actually, true story, you guys. This red gear, he wore on more than one occasion. Yes, he did wear it in Ruthless Aggression, but he also wore it in the good old days. And then that's what they do, bro. They bring it back, and I think they brought it back in a damn good way, bro. This is nice. So, obviously, based off the regular Ric Flair Ultimate Edition, except it's got the conversion swap right here, based off the Elite. So, pretty nice, man. I'm telling you. Here it comes. The pain is rolling around. We got more Elites, and we got Crippler Chris Benoit in the blue, another one that is based more off fodder. I mean, this one is supposed to be inspired also based off Here Comes the Pain. I'm telling you, dude, the full roster, you guys got to turn on that notification bell because this one was one of the missing pieces. This is Jeff Hardy mixed in with, what was it? Uh, it was one of the three luchadors, and I could be wrong. I might have to go check it out, but yeah, I, I can't think. I, I should have wrote it down. I should have made a list. I should have put the crippler in the crossface and told them that this figure is going to be freaking solid once we get the decals design on here now father and son collectibles look at this we are the nation a domination now here it is mark henry well overdue now very excited that d -Lo brown has joined the family with the true fx and also the fact that we no longer have a stubby 
right leg. And I believe it was also the left leg. I know the first original release had this leg that I just could not pull back. But look at that. Confirmation right there to the fan that they definitely addressed it. Plus the fact that it's got the pinless design with the brand new True FX. Let's take off the cap, bro. This thing looking fresh. Back end locked in tight. And the bottoms, well, you know what? Nation of Domination only knew how to roll up one way. And that was, of course, with your boy D-Lo Brown. Now, next one up. We got Kurt Angle, but this one is actually based off Attitude Era. And it is almost practically the exact same formula of the one that we did just show you, which I believe that one was based off, yes, it was Ric Flair as well. But on this go-around, you guys, it's got a whole different look. It's got the white boots, it's got the blue knee pads. And then for this one, even though it is utilizing just a regular Jack's uh, entrance piece, I do have the actual one right here from PWR. So I'm telling you, bro, one, you got to follow me on Instagram. Two, you guys got to join the notification squad. And three, you guys need to bring Team Extreme into the picture because Matt and Jeff Hardy have also received the appropriate look. Look at this, you guys. This is insanity. Now, Ringside Exclusive Collectibles, they made this two-pack happen, but unfortunately, they did not make this possible when it came to Ultimate Edition. Plus, the mask shirt, bro, this thing is freaking solid, bro. Matt Hardy, let's turn it up. Dude, this, oh, I'm so excited. These are going to look really nice right there, side by side on the Attitude Era show. Now, let's tune up the band, because as you guys know, we cannot have Figgy Ultimate Edition unboxing if we don't got Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid, rolling up right there with all that. Now, keep in mind, early stages i do have to ask them there's a little minor things we gotta do still but i feel like when the sweet chin party rolls around you can definitely flex on them because the heartbreak kid has made this a closing but last and certainly not least and one that i personally never found in the wild right here we got Polly in the later days. We got Polly in the younger days. And we got Polly with a damn massive phone. I don't know how the hell he's going to fit that in his pocket. Now, which Polly is doing it up? WCW Polly or current Polly? Let me know in the comments, man. I feel like both of these are pretty damn solid. And I feel like today's unboxing, you guys, was a solid banger. I got to show you this without a doubt because this is pure insanity. Look at this. We got Kane, Ultimate Edition. I don't know what the hell he's doing next to Paulie, but he's got his right hand man and he's got the two titles. We got Kurt Angle, not only in classic look. No, hold on. Take that back. Classic looks over here. We got him over here. Here comes the pain. But we got the whole damn show bringing the tribal chief. Come on, big dog. Let's round it up because we got a whole bunch of figgies in today's video. So, again, if you guys love this stuff, you guys like playing around, mixing around the gears, definitely turn on that notification bell. Join the WHF family. Hit the subscribe button and drop a like if you guys want to bring bro right here in Ultimate Edition. Make it happen, Mattel. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you, my buddies, on the next one. Yeah, buddy. Yo. Randy, where are you at, man?